You know, she sang that old Christmas hymn, Noel. Noel's a French word that uh, literally just means, in English, it just means birthday or the birth of Christ. I'm going to say Christ's birthday. The celebration of his birth. Now, you'll see Noel associated, you know, with the little fat dead saint renamed Santa Claus. It's, it's amazing. It's blasphemous is what it is. Because the very name itself is revealing his birth. Amen. And you can't preach and sing and talk about his birth and not be reminded of his death and his resurrection and his soon return. Amen. But yet, that's associated with such. Somebody say no. tells us in Matthew 2, verses 11 again, it says, when those magi, those kings come from the Far East to worship Christ, the Bible said they came into the house. Now, this would have been two years. Amen. Probably somewhere in that time frame after actually the birth of Christ. Somebody say they got there a little late, but at least they got there. Hallelujah. That says a lot for many. Some I'll say it's Christmas Eve. And I'm in church and my name ain't even Eve. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Or it may be. Amen. It's going to be like that first Christmas here at Acts 29 today, I guess, with a few. You ever thought about that? They weren't crowds that showed up that first one. It was just a few. But that was enough. It got the gospel to the world. Amen. Look at somebody besides and say, they should be more here. But thank God there's enough. For us to spread the gospel. We ain't here to spread rumors. This ain't a rumor mill. This is the gospel mill. We're here to spread the gospel. Amen. Like the shepherds did in Luke 2, 17. But you know, God gave me a little say another day. And then I found out later on on social media, there was some stuff floating around similar. But I put an S in front of elf. Somebody say self. You know, that little mystical, magical occult related uh, you know image of elf on a shelf that somehow he's got a direct line magically to the North Pole and he's keeping you know taps on you you've heard of being tapped by you know the government and big brother being tapped by Santa that's you know and keeping an eye on you making sure you do it so he can you know you know have conversation uh, and, and, and elves really come from a Scandinavian myth it comes from even the Yuletide and the Yule worship, the winter celestic, you know, people worshiping this S-U-N, not the S-O-N. And uh, elves are really referred to in the occult as little demons, little devils. Amen. So I put me an S in front of elf and got self. Some ought to say self. Instead of elf on a shelf, I've declared a true tradition. Somebody say during the celebration of Christ's birth, uh, somebody say just like the wise men, just like the magi in Matthew 2, 11, somebody say self in church. Now that's the true tradition. Self in church. Amen. But somebody say that's the truest tradition from the magi. They was in his house. They came to his house to worship him. Amen. Some ought to say self in church. Praise God. So give me a little bit of effects. I want to sing Noel this way. Noel, Noel. That's enough. Noel, Noel. It's his birthday. Come on, somebody. Matthew 1, 18 and said the birth of Christ was on this wise. Now, that ain't the wise men. That just means it was after this manner. But in Matthew 2, 2, the wise men came to worship him. Some ought to say his birth was after this manner. And some ought to say it was on this wise. And some ought to say those that are wise, they're still putting him first. Some ought to say Christ must, must not mass, but must be first. You ain't celebrated Christ until that's a reality that you live. Some ought to say, that's why we're here. Amen. Somebody look at your neighbor and give them five and say, not an elf on a shelf, but self in church.